Hi, my name is Jesper Kier. I'm a, an IBM Domino developer and admin. Among other things, I have this blog, nevermind.dk. And today I published an article about a security hole in the IBM Domino server. When a certain setting is enabled on the server, you, the Domino security model is completely broken. You can access the Domino data just by using a username, no password is needed. All right, let me show you the article. Here we have nevermind.dk, and here's the article. Okay, let's move on. Some background is needed. Way back around 2002, IBM started to really want to push IBM WebSphere instead of IBM Domino. But they knew that there were still millions of IBM Domino databases around. So what they really wanted is to have the users to access and log in at the WebSphere server. And then from there on access the Domino server. So the WebSphere would act like sort of a reverse proxy server. And uh, IBM had this setting on the Domino server, which was called HTTP enabled connector headers equals one. If this setting was set, Domino would understand certain special HTTP header fields. And let me show you the list of the fields. There's, these are the special fields. All right. One in particular is interesting, and this is this one. This is the remote user. If this HTTP header field is set with a username or even a short name sometimes, the user gets access to the domino data without using a password. This is absolutely horrible completely breaks the security model in Domino. You can access, if you have the admin's name, you can access the, access the pretend you're the admin of the Domino server and X get full control of the server. Now this security hole has been around for 13 years now. That's a long time. Okay. I want to show that it's set up have this machine today in order to demo the security hole. I have a Domino server, which runs on port 8888. And I have an Nginx reverse proxy, which runs on port 80. And I have a Linux Mint live DVD running in a virtual box virtual machine. So it's completely fresh. The only thing I have added is an add-on to the Firefox browser which can set the HTTP fields. <clears throat> okay, let's demo. First, we have the Domino server. Oh, sorry. Let's go back. You can see the nodes in the settings here, right? The HTTP enabled connectors headers is set to zero, so it's not enabled in this situation. Now let's open this database in a minute. Here I have added a, a user, test123, with auth access. Anonymous has no access. So accessing this database from a browser would prompt me for a username and password. Okay. So this is the database. It's called test one. And you, you can see it's the Domino server ac access directly. Okay, let's refresh. And you can see I get prompted for a username and password. 
if I access the server via the reverse proxy, which is running here, Nginx, let's refresh here. I also get prompted, right? This is the reverse proxy running at port 80. Now, let's change the setting. So, I will set this to 1. Update. Okay. And save. And then we need to restart this server. Okay, on the machine I have a uh, fresh live Linux Mint Linux installation running. So it's a live install, so it's completely fresh. The only thing I have installed on it is an add-in to the browser, which makes me able to add headers to the HTTP requests. So I'm going to add the username to the HTTP request. And uh, let's see what happens now. Okay. First, I tried to look to just to access the service directly and I got prompted through the reverse proxy and I got prompted. Let's try again. Boom. Access. No password needed. Let's try it through the reverse proxy. Boom. No password needed. This is not good. Okay. Let's go back and wrap this up. Uh, okay. When you saw even the reverse proxy gave access to the dominant server directly if the HTTP header was set. It was actually because I have set and setting on the Nginx server to allow the header to be passed on. As default, Nginx will not pass it on. But be careful. I don't know about HA proxy or IBM HTTP, so what they are doing. So be careful. Check those headers. So my final word is always set HTTP enable connect the headers to zero on all domino servers. You really do not need it. I will show you, in a, show you in a later blog entry that how to set up the Nginx proxy server to work great with Domino servers without even disabling needed. Okay, that's all for me now. Bye.